Hello everyone, this is Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. And I thought it was about time to do an updated storage video. So I will start out with the smallest. Now this is one of the containers that I use for kitting up small projects. Most of the time it's the rhinestones. The projects that have the rhinestones in them end up in these small ones because this has just 12 slots in it. A lot of the time um, I've gotten these from as a free gift with a diamond painting I've ordered. But I have ordered these on Amazon. And these are great for when you get a small partial that you just want to kit it up when you get it so you don't have to worry about it. And then you just put it away with whatever filing system you use when you are um, putting away your kits that come in. What I do is I put a 3x5 card in with it like this. And I put the information. This is an older one, so it doesn't have all the information that I put on it now. But it gives you the basics. It has how many colors, the size, uh, the name of the canvas, and then the item number or the inventory number that is on the canvas itself. That way I can match it up with that canvas. And the beads will be right there. So this is one that I'm working on right now. And these are the ones that won't fit in the storage container that I'm using because they're or an excessive amount of a particular color, which is 939. There's an, also a green color and then one more bag of 310 here that has a thousand in it. But this card along with this, put it in a bag and it's ready to just grab and go. Those are especially nice for when I'm going on a trip and I want to take something with me and I don't have time to pick something out. I have this. Okay, the next um, smallest, and I'm sure you've seen these before. These are the 28 slots, seven times four. Yeah, so there's 28 in here. Um, this is also one I used with the rhinestone, with the rhinestone gems in it. This, these are all projects I'm already done with. I just have not filed them away, but these have the four they have sections of four in them i like these because um i i can easily open them up and pour from a small spout instead of a larger section in some of my other containers that i have and these i just wrote on with sharpie which are easily removed with uh, alcohol wipes or alcohol or just your finger but uh, I don't want to mess with that right now I don't even remember which one this goes to but a lot of the time I will put my 3x5 card right in here I'll tape it in here or I'll tape a picture of what it is up on the inside so that I can see what it is when I go to pick up the box I actually have one somewhere that is well see here's another one that Oh, I kitted this up and I can't find the canvas for it. So um, that's why this one's here and it looks full because it is. I haven't done anything with it because I'm still looking for the canvas. I haven't looked real hard, but that was one that I was preparing to do in the living room. And then when I was going on a trip real quick, I was going to take it with me and I spent too much time trying to find the canvas that I said forget it and I took something small in with one of these. But I've been using these um, almost since the beginning. Uh, this was the first container type storage that I had. I showed, if you, if you look at my very first container um, supply video, I'll link it right here in the eye. You'll see what I used for the very first time. I used baggies and this contraption with um, clothes, cl clothesline clips that, you know, 
inventors would have been proud. <laughs> I say it was pretty archaic. But, um, yeah, so this is um, the second smallest, uh, but it holds 28, which these are, the sections in these are bigger than this, obviously, but they are, they don't hold very many packages. I think you might be able to fit four, but to be safe, I'd, I'd only put like three in there, so about 600 gems. This, on the other hand, you're... I don't, I don't know because I've never really tried to stick a pack of 200 in here. All the ones that go in here are the ones that are like weighed out or counted out to be specific for that diamond painting. So there's never a lot. And if there are, I generally um, make sure that there's enough to use an overflow container. So like if it only has seven colors, but there's like three bags of one, then I can use the rest of them in here to store my leftovers. That won't fit in there okay the next one is one that I haven't kitted anything up yet but I'm I'm at the point where I needed more containers and I got these at a really good price so I thought I would uh, pick them up and uh, try them out I haven't tried them out yet but I can link these for you um, if you don't see a link down below in the description box, then you'll find them, um, if you click on the link for my Amazon page, you'll find them there. But this has 24 slots, and I mean, you know this has 28, but the size is comparable. I mean, these are taller, and it's almost as long as this. So you're going to be able to fit more into these containers than you would into this. The only thing I really don't like about this is that it's a hard plastic and these tend to break way easier than these softer ones. I don't know what the, it's called when it's hard plastic and, and the soft plastic. I don't know if there's a name for the different types of plastic. If you know, please let me know because I have no idea. I just call it hard and soft plastic. So these containers, a lot of people call them Tic Tac containers because they look like little Tic Tac boxes. They're actually a bit smaller than a Tic Tac box, but they're about the same shape and they have the flip top like a Tic Tac, Tic -tac box does. Um, it also has the same feature, but you normally don't use it on Tic Tacs because you're, you use them and toss them generally once your Tic Tacs are gone. You have to peel the paper off to get to this part, but um, you just can pop the top off to pour your drills in here. And I thought I'd give this a shot because of the fact that this would be really convenient and easy to pour your drills in their singles. I mean, you don't have to mess with three other containers possibly popping open, which I've never had that happen, but it's a possibility. Uh, you have just one color in your hand at a time, and you can just pour it into your tray. And to pour it back in, you know, pop the top off so that you can fit the spout in there easily without a problem. And there's plenty of room on these to place your labels. Uh, a lot of people will stand them up when they're using them so that they can see or there's more room so it's easier to pick these up because it's kind of a pain trying to pick them up like when they're in here like this because they're pretty tight but there's room on these labels on the lid part here and the part that doesn't move if you print them out small enough I like to print mine out a little larger now but I could always also put them on the side here if I was standing it up that would be easy to see the back row and leave the front row laying down so that I could see all the labels on this side and I could see the labels on the side facing me from the back row so yeah I can't wait to actually try this one out um, once I kit something up that is the right size lately I just haven't had something that would fit or it was like one color too many, so I had to go uh, bump up to the next um, storage container that had more. See, like, yeah, this is already cracked. 
All right, here. You can see the crack right there. Where is it? There it is. I'll pull it back a little bit so you can see. Well, even if you can't see it, because this, this camera likes to take its time to focus, um, believe me, there's a crack in the lid already. And I don't know if that's from me just opening it just now or it happened in shipping because I ordered these um, online. And the bottom looks like it's cracked as well. Yeah, there's a crack in it. It's from the inside, so it's not going all the way through yet. But I would have to be very careful with these. Dropping it, if I dropped it, that would be all she wrote. The case would be busted. I have dropped these several times, and I've never had anything but pop open, like I was saying. So, for right now, I prefer these for the smaller projects. Um over this but I will give this a shot since I have not tried it I like I said this is just my the only downside of this that I'm not happy about or not thrilled about I should say <clears throat> okay the next containers I'm going to show you are ones that I use for my leftovers I haven't they're empty right now because I haven't stored my leftovers yet as you can see they're all in these and I have a lot of kits, so I haven't felt the need to actually put them away, except for the fact that it's hard to find what I'm looking for if I need some extras. So, um, what I will do is, see, these are round, so I, I'm going to be putting round gems in these. I've actually started, um, in fact, here is the one that I've used. This is my the third one. I'm up to like five right now, and these are, I need to go through them and make sure the numbers are correct, but I don't have every single number in here yet. As I get more, I'll add um, containers, because I'm trying to get them um, every single number. As you can see, some of these are empty, and that is just because I had used these labels. These are the labels I want to use for my leftovers, and I had used these labels prior to making that decision in a kit that I I worked so I decided okay well, I'll just stick them in here with my leftovers and make sure that you know I put them in the order and when I have that number I can just put it in this that container so uh, yeah this is my start of my leftovers um, whether or not that's the correct number that should be on those colors that's another story I still need to go through my DMC chart and compare them to make sure that they are the actual number that is on the DMC chart. And I just, I didn't make a fancy label, I just wrote on it with Sharpie, leftover, leftover round drills, number three. <laughs> so that's what I use these for, and these will be for the ones, the round leftovers that have a large amount, like 310. Um, who knows? 310, 939, and whatever, uh, that white 3865, I think it is, that have uh, an awful lot of, those will probably end up filling up all of these, but this will be like the um, overflow. So that's what I'm going to be using these for. And the only reason I, you know, still have them laying around and not, I only have like two of these, but it's because I got them, you know, like, during um, Black Friday or at some ridiculous sale. So there's 25 in this one and there are 30 in this one. So some people, I mean, like I I did use this for doing a kit. <clears throat> and that's like I, why I said there's some on here with the numbers on them already. But um, yeah, I, I, I didn't mind using this. I, I really don't mind it. Some people don't like the squeak of the lid. But I... Um, I found something I like to use better, so I didn't want these to go to waste, so I'm that's what I'm using them for is leftovers now. Same with that. So my next container that I like to use are the ones from Harbor Freight. They sell these for tools, tool organizing or whatnot, and when you get them, they come and there's 24 in this one as well. But they are much larger than these Tic Tac containers, as you can see. 
oh, wrong, wrong box, sorry. As you can see, the container is a lot bigger. And this is another kit. This is a square kit that I have not um, filed away yet. But when these come, they come like this, where they're, they're laying with the tops up. And they come with these styrofoam, or these foam, styrofoam, whatever they are, uh, stoppers on the edge. And I actually keep them to keep my boxes from rattling around in here. I pull them out when I'm working on the project, but I also, when I'm working on the project, I don't have my boxes stacked like this. I stack them like this, and I have the DMC number and the symbol on the outside. And that way I can see quickly which one I need. And when, I'm, when I do diamond paintings, I, um, I go by the symbol. I don't use the number. I use the number for filing away, knowing what color it is, and if for some reason the symbol isn't there, I can check on the canvas, on the legend, to see what color it's supposed to be. But I do, most of the time, if it's a small enough project like this, I just uh, file these away in numerical order by DMC number, and um, I search for the, the symbol that I need. However, I started doing it differently where I would organize my shapes so that, like, I would organize my numbers, the num ones that have numbers on it for the symbol, I would start with those and I would put them in numerical order and then I would go letters A through Z, whatever they're using, and then I'd do that next and then I would do things like... Um, you know the key, the number keys on your keyboard, how they have percentage, dollar sign, ampersand, at symbol, asterisk, parentheses, all those kinds of things. I would do those next. And then arrows, and then triangles, and stuff like that. Because I found that it made searching for the correct symbol that I was about to place a lot easier to find. Especially if I knew what order they were in in my storage container. Which brings me to this one. Now this, this is from my, um, I have an unearth design. This is only the first one. I have two of them. And the second one is about halfway filled because there are 90 colors in that one. I just store my clips here. They, that's not necessary, but I have a bunch of these and I store them on the edge here so they don't get lost. Uh, but like this, as you can see, how I've got them, I started uh, here, two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nines down there, and then they didn't have letters, so I started here, this here is all my square symbols, and then the half square, and then like, like the card symbols, hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spade, I made a row of that because I have two different hearts, a solid heart and an open heart. So, and then there's circles here. The diamond wouldn't fit in this row, so I had to put it over here. But you know, you, you get the drift. Um, it's, it's made it a lot easier. As you can see, here's my arrows, all the different types of arrows. Got up, you turn up thick, down thick, left thick, right thick and so forth so anyway this storage container um is was good for the is good for the project i'm doing it for because of how many there are since there's 90 colors um i probably would use what i'm going to show next um if i were to have discovered it sooner but this was the best for my choice at the time but now what I use these for are my leftover squares because the containers are rectangular close to square and these are for my rounds because their containers are round that's just part of my a little bit of OCD that I have <clears throat> so yeah that's as you can see I have a lot to do on that project. I have not done much of it. It's waiting for me to get to someday. 
It's gigantic. If you want to know more about the Heaven and Earth project, <clears throat> my Heaven and Earth Designs project, I will link the playlist up here. And you can take a look at what I'm talking about. So that's this, which I probably had in my last um, video. But I'm basically retiring this system to my leftovers. Although we had a good run. I have uh, six of them. And they're waiting for the square drills to be put into them. But I didn't buy them all at once. I've bought them a little bit at a time. The last one I actually got for $15 off of Amazon. They were on sale. I think they're like $17 now on Amazon. But they are um, in on my Amazon page. So you'll know what they are now by clicking on it. Okay, so this is what I use right now for projects. Um, these are the Craftmates lockables. Uh, I have on the side what projects in here. This is my topsy-turvy that I've been um, doing my drill with me's on. And you can see there's something underneath. And that's because I actually have two kits in here. Because this holds 56. It has 56 slots. I can get this out. Okay, so yeah, these are hard to get out. <laughs> Alright, so I have just a washi piece of washi tape with the picture. I made a copy of the... I think I made a copy of this from their website. I don't remember if it's on the canvas or not, even though it's right behind me. Yeah, it is on the canvas, but I think I got this off the website. Yeah, because it's got the Diamond Art Club logo over it. And underneath, when I'm done with that, I'll just flip it up and that'll be showing. This is also a Diamond Art Club diamond painting. So I kind of wanted to keep the same in with the, the same uh, company diamonds and okay now I'll show you what's inside this like I said has 56 it, there are four um, things with seven slots each and they do slide out fairly easily once you get them out but for the first time you know when you first get them there the plastic is kind of stuck to the containers and you kind of have to lift it up to get it released but um these are good if you don't want things spilling out because you can't just open them i'm um, sure a lot of you know about these but you have to actually push this button here on the side and then flip it up so um, when I use this, especially when there, it's a really full container like the 310, see how it's got a lot in there, I actually use this spoon, which I got from one of my kits that I, um, diamond painting supply kit that I got off Amazon. I have a couple of different types of spoons, but <clears throat> the other one we're using in the perler bead uh, box. But I just use this, and I scoop out my beads and put them in the tray. And putting them back is easy, um, you know, just pour your tray into the, the container because these are really large, very big opening. These do tend to have a lot of static when you first use them. Um, as you can see, there still is some static in here. They're stuck on the bottom. I don't know if you can tell or see. But that's easily remedied. Um, for some people, it works for some people. It doesn't work for others. Now, see, I just put tape over these, and that's something that doesn't work so well on the ones that come inside because it, it'll it lift the tape up. Um, I actually used double-sided tape and taped the symbols to the underside of the lid for another project that I kitted up, which... Um, yeah, it is one that I'm using that I started. I've got so many works in progress. I have three, four in just these containers. So, and then there's that one. My hay, that's five. And then I have a living room project, that's six. And then I have one in the car. So that's seven works in progress right now. Okay. Um, what I was saying is, oh, the static. Um, it works for some people. It doesn't work for others. But 
as you can see in this one, since I haven't started it yet and I had a lot of static in it, I just cut up small pieces of the dryer sheets and I put it in with it. As you can see, there's not much static in, in these now, but I, I put a good chunk in there to help with the static. So it's not as bad as it was, but it doesn't get rid of it all the way. Other people say to stick your bags of beads in the freezer. Um, I don't know the exact methodology to that, but um, I don't know if it works really. It, gives, puts, it would add moisture to your drills, but I don't know if that would take away the static. So um, I'm sure if, you sh if I sh sat here shaking this up for a while and getting the fabric softener all over the beads, it would go away. But who wants to do that, right? So yeah, um, 50, there's 20, 28 on each side. And so that's plenty enough room for two projects. Um, as you can see, this one had 29 colors. So I went over the, over by one onto this side. The sticker flipped over because <laughs> when I put it back in this last time. And this project had less than 28. So I had room. I had 20, 24 in this one and 29. So it worked out. And... So anyone, any project that has more than 25, which is what are in the um, Harbor Freight containers, I would go with this. Uh, I really, I wouldn't use this for something that only had 20 colors, um, unless I was going to kit up two things at once and use up all the space. I just don't, I find it's a waste of space doing it that way. But definitely for projects, um, that you want that have bigger, have more diamonds to them, or you want to kit up two at once. This is, these are great. Um, I get these, you can get them on Amazon, but I personally get them at Michael's when I have a 50% or 60% off coupon so that I can get them for eight to $10 instead of the $20 that they go for normally at Michael's. Now we're going to move on to the final storage container that I have that I'm so excited to try out after a quick message from our sponsors. That means I need to change clips. Be right back. All right. So this is something I bought during the 1111 sale. Um, actually, I don't remember if it was during the sale. No, it wasn't. Um, our Facebook group gets a discount at the uh, Logan store on AliExpress. Um, you need to go into the documents and it has a place there where they've got uh, a code for your discount at the store. And I mean, it's not a big discount, but hey, every little bit counts, especially if you get your discount and then you also purchase on the mobile app, you get a little bit more of a discount by doing it that way as well. And, you know, this is something that, you know, isn't something that's normally cheap. And I spent actually a lot more on it than I spent on, mm, no, the Elizabeth, the Elizabeth Ward containers the that hold um, like 90. The one for my Heaven and Earth design, it holds like 82 of them. Um, if you all use just the tiny ones. But this is, this is something different. They hold more too. Um, and I'm sure you've seen people have them and they've been advertised, but I got one of these. Yeah. Takes up the whole screen. It, um, I got it in purple. They have different colors. I couldn't decide between purple and the tealish blue color, but this would be perfect for on the go. If you had a large project, if you were, um, moving and you wanted to keep your project with you, roll up your your canvas and so it's right there so you don't lose it or whatever um take it on a plane travel if you're going to be doing a long trip i would use this for if i but i wouldn't use do a large project i would because this has 60 this holds 60 so this is my by far largest container it has it does have a pocket up here and it's pretty deep it's the the depth of the lid here it goes all the way back and for for tools or diamond painting if you want to 
take a few small ones that you have uh, even rolled up if it as long as it's not wider than this I wouldn't fold them because you know we don't like to fold them but it has these containers these are a bit different than these these have flat lids and they're short these are pretty dang tall and they hold like I know they hold at least six um, I am seeing crack on this lid which you know I haven't used this at all yet so I'm sure I'm guessing it didn't happen in shipping because this is very padded and it came extremely padded it came in one of those air air boots I call them um, but these um, they they work about see they do have that squeak to them like the other ones do the smaller ones but let's look at the comparison on the size so there's the size difference so this probably holds twice well, at least twice as much as these do if I can remember right these will hold I know they'll hold like six five maybe five five or six I'm not sure so this will these will hold quite a quite a few and they're stabilized in here so they're not gonna go falling everywhere you're not gonna drop it and dump it out I really wanted one uh, well actually I didn't want one at first because I didn't know what I'd use it for but as I kept seeing it and kept seeing it I'm like you know what I might as well get one at least to you know show everybody what it's all about so but this has twice as many as this does but it is more than twice the size but it's like it's like a little suitcase I mean it is if you take this styrofoam out and all these things you'd have a nice little suitcase but I think this costs like $24 and um, they have other sizes the I think 60 was the biggest one they had and they range in price um, I will leave you a link to the one that I got from the Logan store this one I will leave you a link to that down below and I'll also um, leave you a link to the to the document in the group that you need to go um, check to see what the code is because the code changes every month and they are um, we have a couple people in the group that run that are Logan's helpers I guess and they change the code every month they change the document so that it will have the new code in it so another thing I wanted to mention is this is this is hard I mean it's I'm sure it's I don't know what it's made out of but I don't think it's cardboard I mean for all I know it could be cardboard it could be some kind of plastic in there but this smells like pickles it does it smells like dill pickles but it's a hard case it it kind of moves but it's not soft you don't want to put something like a hundred pound box of paper on it but if you did I'm sure it'd still be safe because I mean it's got this the foam around the edges so it, it, it will have the shock absorbency on the edges but it doesn't have it along the top or the bottom so you still have to you know take care in what you're putting on top of it but still it's got this handle and it collapses down and push it down and it's got dual zippers so I think I think these are worth it because I have like I said I have spent a little bit more on a storage container and that storage container those storage containers are not portable um, you wouldn't want to take those in the car definitely wouldn't um, I didn't show you for those that have not seen these let me just show you real quick how these containers work um, there is the one that has 82 pieces that has I think it's 82 don't quote me um, they have all this size of uh, 
containers in it. They're all this size. And then there's the other one that has, I think it's a 45 piece and it comes with some of those and some of these other sizes. There's, this is the next size up and then there's this size and I think, I don't think I'm missing one. And then the, then the, the super ones. Yeah. So there's four sizes. This one is the largest that they have, and the 45 piece will come with, I don't know how many, because I have the other half of it in the other container. Uh, so those are great for kitting up large projects where you need an extra large amount of space for one color. Or you can just put one color in several little ones, you know, whatever, but I thought I'd give both of them a shot, both um, kits a shot, so I that's why I, I did that. And it really, it really is nice for this kit because of the fact that there's 90 colors and some of them have mucho beadage going on. So I forgot, I was going to show you how these are a bit harder to lift up. You can't just pop them up and people have actually ripped their fingernails off trying to open these. So if you get one of these, my suggestion is to get a pair of tweezers. This is one idea. This is what I use. And you stick it underneath to pop it open. And it's got the hinge thing going on, like on the Tic Tac containers, but I've never pulled it completely out. I'm sure it is possible if you ever needed to for whatever reason but this opening is wide enough to where you I don't I've never needed to completely take it off and it snaps back in place another way to open these I don't have one because I don't use it but use the three placer that come with some of your drill kits and it just pops underneath I can't do it because it's not stuck in a pen. The pen I had, where was it? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I stuck two drill pit tips in this one. I'll just show you real quick. Even though it's got goop in it, I had, I have another one, but it fell. So you just stick it underneath there and you can pop it open. Hope I didn't spill anything. So one or the other whatever you have available but just don't use your fingernails if you can avoid it because it does hurt and it, and it gets painful and it can get really bad so that's it for my storage containers for my drills i will have another video at some point um showing you my the storage of my kits where, they're, where I have them stored until I'm ready to do them, and my canvases. That is a whole nother beast. Whole other beast, I should say, that um, will take a long time to show. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and you will see many more videos like this. And... Have fun diamond painting. Don't forget, though, to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. See you guys in the next one. Bye.